and we are at the Harrow East. Mr. Craig Handy. Craig, welcome back to Rochester. Thank you. And it's been a, almost nine years since the last time you played here in Rochester. I was thinking about that. Was it nine years? Yeah. Wow. I'm, it's been okay. a minute. <laughs> I didn't realize it had been that long. So again, we were so happy to have you back. As soon as we heard that you're coming with the band with Conrad Herwick, we had to immediately talk to you and catch up with you and see how the life and times of Mr. Handy have been going. All right. Thank you very much. It's great to be back here. So the most th last thing we had was your, your tribute to Jimmy Smith. Oh, okay. And that was just such a fun project, taking Jimmy Smith down to New Orleans and really having a lot of fun with his music. For you, why did you choose Jimmy Smith? And for you, what's it like playing in this band with Conrad Herwick? Uh, okay, so for Jimmy Smith question, uh, I would say, uh, um, you know, so I've been playing with the, the organ uh, quartet, my right. organ quartet, for uh, a couple of years, and I have a really good organist named Kyle Kohler. Oh, yeah. And he's, he's a serious cat, you know, one of the best. So, uh, but, you know, we, we did a lot of gigs around the city and, you know, traveling a bit, and, and, um, and I realized that uh, we were never going to do it better than Jimmy Smith. He said we're going to do it, you know, and... You know, you know how it is when you when you don't get to do something when you're younger and you don't get a chance to to live through that. But you so you it's something you always want to do. So I never played with Jack McDuff or you know Jimmy Smith or Don Patterson or any of those cats. You know, but I've always loved the organ sound. You know, and of course Stanley Turrentine. You know, yeah. uh, so um, I decided to take it to New Orleans. You know, to put the second line you know, rhythm on, on Jimmy Smith's music, and that's how we int ended up doing uh, Second Line Smith. Um, and, you know, his music, some of his biggest hits, a couple of them were actually uh, songs with modified New Orleans rhythms on them. Oh, I didn't know. realize that. Yeah, The Cat and uh, High Heel Sneakers. Yeah, of course. How, how so that? Yeah. Those, those two are like just, you know, New Orleans street beats, basically. So uh, when I figured that out, I was like, you know what, we just do the whole, whole record like that, you know? <laughs> So I think it came out pretty good. So we ended up having a lot of fun with that. Yeah, it was absolutely a joy to listen to. And I saw it live as well in New York. And I was like, I won't, haven't seen you since then, but I wanted to catch up and say thank you for doing that. No, oh, thank you. You're ever welcome. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you enjoyed it. And then, uh, you know, from playing Conrad, we've been playing together for like probably close to 30 years. Mm -hmm. um, oops, sorry, Conrad. I shouldn't be dating myself. Uh, <laughs> he's in the next room. Uh, so, um, you know, we've, been, we've played together on many different bandstands uh, over the years, and, um, you know, he's um, one of the fixtures in New York City um, for, for first call trombone players for all Latin, you know, anything that's got to do right. with Latin music as well as jazz. So, um, uh, I've done my share of Latin gigs over the years with different people, and um, so it was a natural fit that he called me after uh, Mario Rivera passed away uh, right. to, to fill his chair. Actually, not because Mario was playing was playing baritone in the band. We shifted everything over to uh, tenor, you know. But all the props due to, to Mario Rivera because that's yeah, absolutely uh, yeah. heavy, one of the heavy baddest cat. cats, heavy yeah. cat, you know. And played everything, man. All the woodwinds and beautiful spirit and beautiful town, beautiful cat, and beautiful music. So, um, um, just uh, happy to be uh, be able to continue the, the tradition of the Latin jazz, you know. Yes. Yeah. Also, it was born in New York City, so. Found myself in the right place. There you go. Speaking to Craig Handy on Jazz 90.1. Craig, thank you so much for taking jazz further with your artistry. Thank you.